Check the description for the following discount codes. Thought I'd look at some more accessories for the GT Mega Prime uh, in this video. It'll only be a quick one because it's just the keyboard tray uh, which articulates you know out the side and, and twists around and the mouse tray as well um, you know these accessories are important to a lot of people who have you know keyboard and mice that they like to have attached to their rigs not something i do i've got a tiny little wireless thing that's attached that i use but i see in other people's videos now that they do use these things so may as well take a look at the prime offerings from gt amiga and see what they're like so very briefly that's what the instructions look like for the keyboard tray, there are no instructions for the mouse tray because all it is, very simply, is just this plate with two holes in it and this bolt to your accessory arm on your prime in the same fashion that your shifter does, just with two bolts through into a pair of T-nuts as well. But we'll get it on there. Um, it's gonna be fine, obviously. I mean, it's quite a thick plate so I don't know how hard you'll be mousing to sort of flex that, but uh, it's pretty thick nonetheless. Now, here's the arm for the keyboard tray. And essentially this is just, or it looks just like a TV wall mount for a small television. It even comes with this pack here that includes two rule plugs and some big screws. Now I first thought, oh, that's interesting. They've, they thought maybe some people might want to bolt this to their wall beside their rig. But then I soon realized it's just the, the standard sort of kit, I imagine anyway, that comes with the TV mount. Now it might not be, I might be wrong, but that, that's just what I thought. Anyway, this TV mount, um, or keyboard tray mount as we're using it for today, it's quite heavy. So the metal's pretty thick. I don't think it's hollow, these pieces of rectangular stuff, going by the weight, but again, I might be wrong. Um, the mechanism itself, very smooth and quite stiff, so it's not gonna flap around or, or, um, or rattle, no worries there. And the same with this piece here that I imagine you would actually put a TV to, but in this case, we're putting a keyboard tray to. Again, super, super stiff. In fact, this is really quite hard to move, but it does go up, down, left, right. It, it rotates sort of like, you know, like, like like that, and you can twist the whole thing. I can't even, I'll have to show you this on the rig. It's too hard to do it up in the air here. So it feels really, really solid. But what's quite comical about this is in spite of it feeling quite solid, it is obviously a relatively cheaply made, you know, sort of Far East item. And the reason I say that is because the dead giveaway is these bolts in here. Now, I don't know whether we'll get this properly in focus, but this one here, the head, is about a third of the size of the head on the other side. And this isn't for a functional reason, the thread is the same. And you may also notice, again, I don't know if this will show up, that the actual sort of Allen key fitment inside is totally off center. It's, you know, and this is, this is indicative of like, you know, stuff you'll find with cheap furniture, flat packets and stuff like that where the quality control just isn't great. But yes, in this, in this case, the material for the head is like a third of the size bigger than it is on, on that one. Both of the Allen key fitment holes are off center. So if you were to unscrew these, you'd find your Allen key sort of wobbling around a little bit. Either that or the Allen key fitment is central and the material around it just hasn't been machined um, accurately. But aside from that, it feels solid and it's like I say, it's very tight to move everything uh, and it's quite weighty. So I don't think it'll be a problem. Um, again, this, this nylock nut in here, you can see the, the actual thread is off center again. But um, yeah, I don't think it'll be a problem because you're only putting a keyboard on it at the end of the day and it is very, very solid. But I just found it quite comical, you know, to see these things that I only usually come across when I'm helping someone build flat pack furniture or even my own flat pack furniture, because you find these sort of discrepancies on, you know, on even relatively big brand stuff sometimes, because it's not that important, but to me it just shows, you know, its origins. Anyway, enough waffle about that. It feels pretty solid, it's heavy, it's stiff, it's not gonna rattle around, that's all good. The actual tray itself is made from, I would say, perhaps one and a half, two mil, steel um not the heaviest especially compared to the mouse uh plate 
but I'm sure it will function. We've got our four holes there that are gonna to screw to the mount there. And then there is also two holes at the front here where you can fit this handle to be able to pull it out and around should you want to. Um, judging by how stiff the arm is, I imagine it'd be easier to actually move it around using this than the handle. And you may not want to fit that handle anyway because it's just going to stick out. Um, obviously you wouldn't fit, you'll fit it with this piece downwards because otherwise if you have it that way up, trying to get to your keyboard would be impossible. Um, so this will be the back, I imagine. Yeah, and there's some countersunk here for the scout sunk holes for your screws to go through so they don't protrude and hit your keyboard. So that's how it'll go on. Pretty simple stuff. I'm gonna go and stick it on the rig and then we'll just have a little look at it installed and see how it all moves around and what have you. As I say, it's gonna be a pretty quick video in spite of my usual waffleage. So the installation was, was really easy. There's just two T-nuts, yeah, you can see, to put in the upright section of my aluminium profile here. One there, one there to allow the TV mount to rotate with a keyboard tray attached to it. And what's really funny is, again, talking about this being just a generic TV mount, the holes that the two bolts go through into the M6 T-nuts are actually countersunk because they are designed to be used with screws like this, with a, you know, a tapered uh, head there. It's not an issue, it still works, still holds it in there just fine. But of course the bolts we get don't have a, a taper on them. So um, I found that quite funny. But uh, yeah, no, it, it, it sits there just fine. You've got your handle on the front here, so you can swing it in, it swings in smoothly. You can type away, do what, whatever you want. It's a little wobbly because this metal is pretty thin and the bolts, the four bolts that hold it to the mount are quite small, so it is a bit wobbly. Um, it, it, you know, because it's thin metal, it feels cheap, but uh, it functions just fine. I probably wouldn't run this handle on the front here. Oh, yeah, actually, I was about to say it gets in the way of your wrist, but you could use it as a wrist rest, I suppose. But I just think it looks a little bit ugly and it sticks out. I'd probably just take it off. You know, you can still push it backwards and forwards without the handle on, just grabbing the lip at the front here. But yeah, it works, you know, that works perfectly fine. It's quite big. This is a full size keyboard on here. In fact, it's got some extra function keys on the left. Um, and there's still plenty of room either side. To be honest, if I was using this setup, which I actually think I might do, I would probably move my keyboard a little bit over to the left and actually have my mouse on the right hand side there. So that it's all, because I have my, my sort of DPI up quite high on my mouse, so I don't have to move it very far. And that, you know, you're slightly typing off to the left, but to have it all in one space, just like a desk, pretty reasonable compromise. Um, I'd also put probably one big mouse mat across the whole, the whole thing, you know, just to make it nice. Uh, but yeah, it works absolutely fine. You can just move it out of the way, you can spin it round, the whole thing does articulate and move around and you can put it up and down where you want on your aluminium profile. So apart from it feeling a little bit flimsy, um, it works just fine, can't really grumble. I actually didn't look to see what these cost, but if you want one, there's a discounted link in the description. Hopefully they're not too much money because you know it is just an off the shelf TV wall mount and then a piece of thin steel, I assume it's steel, could be aluminium. But yeah, it works absolutely fine. Now the mouse, um, how can I show you this? i have to grab the camera, it's gonna go wobbly for a second. Just bear with me. The mouse um, plate is down here to my left. And that's absolutely fine as well, should you want it on the left. If you've got your shifter set up on the right, that will of course bring it over to the right hand side, which is where most of us use our mice. The only thing I'll say about this is where it bolts here and here into the profile, these are not countersunk either, as you can see. They just stick up, and they really should be countersunk, just for neatness. It doesn't cause a problem, because I'm not mousing right on the edge here, but I just think, for the sake of having them countersunk and supplying some countersunk bolts, that would have been a slightly neater finish, and at the same time, they could have supplied some countersunk bolts for those as well. But, yeah, aside from Aside from that, the mouse part, you know, the mouse plate functions just fine as well. Um, you know, to be honest, it all works 
as it should and I can't really complain. As I say, hopefully they're not too much money because there's not a whole lot going on here and it's pretty much some off the shelf parts bar this piece of plate that's been cut, drilled and folded. But yeah, that's, um, that's from my, re my review of the GT Amiga Prime. Articulating keyboard tray, which I would also use with a mouse and then the individual mouse plate itself. Hopefully some of you have found that useful. As always, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.